Get Your Pet Right. Today in this video I'll be explaining to you how to set up our digital Get Your Pet Right thermostat. Now with our thermostat, it sits just on top of our unit like this. We have got the holders which come with the thermostat so you can use that in conjunction with our setups. Now when using anything on the thermostat you want to press mode, set will set the temperature or set the time for whatever you do need to set and then you can change anything by using the up and down buttons on this side. So we'll press mode now. T is flashing, which is the time. I've already set the current time to 4.30, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll go to the next one, so press mode again. T1 is your daytime start. So we've set it to 5 a.m. That's what we want our daytime cycle to start on. Holding mode again. T2 is our nighttime start. So we've set that to 5 p.m. Now this is part two, we'll go to mode, which is ST1. Now we've set our current temperature to 30 degrees. I will press and hold set and show you how to adjust the temperature if you do need to. 30 degrees is standard for most Python species. Using the up and down buttons on the right hand side, you can change the temperature to how you need it as well. So press set again and that's going to be your 5 degree variance. Now the reason we've set it to 5 degrees is because we don't want it to vary too much from the temperature we have set. Now pressing set again and that's going to go to H. H is flashing. Now with H flashing that's your hot. You do want it on hot because obviously being a reptile it does also have a cooling function on the thermostat so always make sure that it's at H. Now again going to our next mode. ST2 which is our nighttime temperature Again, holding set. Now 20 is flashing. We have set it at 20 degrees. As I said earlier, you can adjust it by using the up and down functions as you need it. We've set our nighttime temperature variance at 2 because we do not want it to vary too much from the temperature we've set it at. And again, H is flashing, so we know that it's set at hot. Go to mode, and this is our humidity. So SH1 is our daytime humidity. We've set that at 90 degrees so we can use it as a timer function for another heat light um, which we're going to use at night time. Now pressing mode again, that's SH2. Again we've set that to 90 degrees so because we've got our timer on C that's going to sort itself out. Now we'll go to A, this is the third part of setting up your thermostat. A is already set at zero so we'll go and hold set. Now with all of these, keep in mind they do have four separate little timers, so I'll show you how to set them all up. Now this is timer one, this is why it has a one there. So timer one we want to be set at zero. And then 2359, that means your heat is going to run 24 seven. So now we'll go, so it goes two, three, and then it'll go four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our four different timers. Now we want it to just stay, so we use 2359 to just cancel all the rest of the timers out. Hit mode again. B will flash. B is what we're using for our UV. So we've set it at 7 a.m. So again, we'll hold set. Go into 7 a.m. That's exactly what we want. And now it's going to go to timer 2, which is 7 p.m. So we're going to go through again. So 3, 4, 5 six, seven, and eight, and they're all set at seven p.m. so they turn themselves off and cancel themselves out. Now we've gone to part C. As I said previously, part C is the one we're going to use for our nighttime heat source. So we're just gonna go into there and hold set. So we'll hold set, we want it to start at zero for timer one. Timer two, we want to start at 7 a.m. Now we're going to go into timer 3, which we've got for 7pm, and then the rest of them just leave at 23.59.59, and they'll cancel themselves out 4 through to 8. So we'll go through. There we go. That's everything set up. Now you press mode again, that'll take you back to the original home screen. Everything's already set for you. 19 is the current temperature it's showing in the tank. 53% is the current humidity that you're seeing in the tank. Now with your probe, the one with this silver end is your thermometer probe, so this is the one you'll use in your heat end so you can tell the temperature and so it can control the heat source for you. This one is either used for humidity or as I said previously used as a timer function as well. So again the last part, just double checking that you have 
the heat in part A, your UV in part B for the timer, and part C can be used for either a fogger, a waterfall, or for a secondary UV or heat light. For more information, just like us on Facebook or visit our website www.getyourpetrightreptiles.com.